Great. So um, at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, we will receive a notification of some variety, either an email or something on the National Residency Matching Program's website saying whether or not we have matched. And so we won't know exactly where we've matched until Friday, but as of now, we will know whether. if we did. Yeah. So we're waiting for that eagerly. We have nine minutes to go. No, seven. Seven minutes, seven minutes to go. Never mind. Get it right. Just kidding. <laughs> Stupid safe mode computer. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> All right, my name is Chaya Murley. I, I'm from Sugarland, Texas, essentially, Missouri City, technically. Um, and why I wanted to be a doctor, I figured that being a doctor would let me use communication skills and knowledge and science and all that stuff to help people, which I really, that's what I want to do with my life. My name is Donna Huang. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. And growing up, I always just really loved the life sciences, and I thought medicine would be a great way to kind of apply that in a way that was contributing meaningfully to society. And, you know, I, over time, I've discovered it's a really exciting field that's always changing, always something new to learn. So I'm really excited about getting into it. My name is Jupen Mali, and I'm from Garland, Texas. Um, I originally wanted to be a doctor per my mother at the age of four because I wanted two swimming pools in my house. <laughs> so that's changed, but um, over the years I found that being a physician really allows you to make a difference in people's lives, and I found a real um, interest in the care of the underserved, which I'd like to pursue through um, my role as a doctor in the future. I feel so many emotions about match day. Um, happiness, excitement, nervousness. I think, um, you know, many people in medical school have uh, maybe somewhat controlling personalities, so to feel a little bit like your fate's up in the air um, to be determined by this algorithm is very nerve wracking. But overall, I'm really excited for the next step. Um, so I'm really hoping that I become a competent and confident clinician. Um, and I hope that I am able to be somebody who is an advocate for her patients. Um, I feel like that's a, a huge part of what I hope to do um, in my future, especially when it comes to care of the underserved, which is something that I'm really interested and passionate about. Um, I would hope that I am able to listen to patients, bring their, bring their concerns to the table, and really address them as as more than just a disease or as an illness and, and be adept at that and also have the, the conf confidence of my colleagues and so that I have a well-rounded future where, wherever I end up practicing afterwards. Um, I had a firefighter who told me all about losing coworkers in a really bad fire that had happened recently and it happened that one of the people who uh, passed in that fire had gone to my high school. I didn't know her personally but that was really emotional for me. Uh, because I remember he left, before he left the, the appointment, he said, thanks, you know, for letting me talk to you about this. I apologize for bleeding all over you is what he kept saying. And he said, you're the first one I talked to who didn't break down crying on me. And of course, I like went home and cried. <laughs> but it was, it was a really emotional experience. And just being able to be there and uh, allow patients to use you as a resource just to talk to, even if that's not what they're there for, it's really nice and special. I've been really lucky to come across a lot of really inspirational faculty members in my time at Baylor. Um, a couple that really stood out to me uh, particularly were um, my attendings when I rotated in the PM&R department, which is what I am going into, um, particularly Dr. Lisa Wenzel. She's a spinal cord injury attending. She just really, um, you know, really introduced me to what she does and got me really excited about it. Um, so, yeah. I've been very lucky to meet all of these incredible people. It's been, there's been some ups and downs certainly, but on the whole it's been a, an extremely positive experience. I wasn't one of those kids who really wanted to be a doctor forever and ever growing up, and in fact I wasn't totally 100% sure that being a doctor was right for me until I started medical school. And I came here and I said, I really have felt here that this is where I should be, more than I've ever felt before. Yeah, um, fourth year is awesome. So look forward to it and plan your trips and plan um, what it is that you want to do with your life and really follow your passion. I think a lot of a lot of medical students tend to get caught up in um, maybe what prestige a specialty may hold or what what um, 
financial rewards you may get. And I think that it's so important to know that medical school is tough and residency is expected to be even tougher. So as long as you're following what it is that you actually want to do, you'll have a great time doing it and that's worth more than anything else in the world. Acceptable. This better not mean that I didn't match. I'm gonna cry. You're not, you were fine. I can't not match. Breathe, breathe. I'm a good candidate. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god. All that for this? That what was so hard to go back.